Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. Nelson Mandela. 35 years ago, in 1987, Mohammed Farid Chanara, a visionary and leader, a product of the same country and environment as Nelson Mandela, understood and shared the sentiment that the collective action of people can change the course of history towards a future of equality, justice and the eradication of poverty. The organization began with a small team dedicated to linking donors in South Africa to recipients on the continent. AMA began to form a powerful footprint across the African continent, and in the 90s, as famine and war began to ravage the people, AMA saw it as their duty to respond and provide aid wherever possible. Africa Muslims Agency has become synonymous with the provision of water across Africa, as well as in Afghanistan in more recent years. The construction of Masajid in Africa and the provision of bursaries and establishment of educational institutions has also been core to the work of AMA over the years. Thousands of orphans have been sponsored across the world. But the real impact goes far beyond the numbers. After the turn of the century, global events began to shake the Middle East region and as ever more countries faced dire humanitarian crises, AMA saw the need to expand beyond the African continent. Through the grace of the Almighty, the organization had developed the capacity to offer assistance far beyond its borders, bringing much needed aid to countries like Palestine, Lebanon and Afghanistan. Two thousand and seventeen saw the launch of Youth Uncapped, a program designed to foster youth development and nourish future leaders who develop a sense of civil responsibility and will one day contribute to building a better society for all. In two thousand and eighteen, AMA began two projects with incredible impact for the communities and families involved. Bread of Hope is a bakery project providing thousands of loaves of bread to Syrian and Palestinian refugees on a daily basis, as well as providing employment in a collapsing Lebanese economy. The same initiative runs in Afghanistan, where AMA manages six bakeries, providing over 150,000 loaves of bread daily. The Dignity Tents Initiative also began in 2018, a project named with care and love because the aim was to provide dignity for refugee families who have had to endure unimaginable circumstances and find themselves living in the most desperate situations in camps. Over 2,000 families now have a dignified home through this project and can protect and shelter the young and the elderly. <coughs> I 
Now think. As an organization which always focused on the provision of water, the most essential need, 2020 saw the launch of boreholes in Afghanistan to alleviate the desperate need of the people living off sewage water and the plight of young children walking kilometers up mountains to fetch heavy bottles of water for their families. As Lebanon and Afghanistan faced major power shortages in 2021, with people dying in hospitals in Lebanon, with the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbating the effects of a collapsing economy, AMA turned to providing solar power to hospitals in Lebanon to provide emergency assistance for those in critical need and providing solar-powered boreholes to remote villages in Afghanistan to enable access to water. For AMA, it has never been about give and leave. It has always been about connecting with people, hearing their stories, and staying as long as we need to. The year 2021 brought two inspiring initiatives for young people. The Amman School of Excellence in Lebanon provides education for Syrian and Palestinian refugee children, as education presents the only sustainable means to break the cycle of poverty faced by thousands across the world. The BU campaign provides dignity packs to young girls across the world, recognizing that without access to these basic items, girls are barred from education and dignity. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر <تصفيق>